So today is chapter 24 of my life. Um, actually, it'd be chapter 25 because from zero to one is chapter one. I don't know why people keep calling it, you know, whatever age they are as a chapter, whatever their life, chapter 25, 24, like, yo, all right, it's 25, all right? 24, chapter 25. That's how it works. Get it right, okay? Um, so, yeah, doing uh, my first radio show tonight, All the Juice. I'm going to make sure it's spectacular. It's going to be phenomenal. And uh, and it's going to be dope. Now, I'm about to tell you about a little tradition that I started. Last year, when I was 23, I did. it was the Jordan year. And uh, this year is the Kobe year. If you ever seen that picture of me from last year doing the Jordan pose, Air Jordan, that was my... That was my uh, way of introducing myself to year 23. Now, it's the Kobe year. Twitch be on point though, cause they be showing you some stream? things in the game that you never knew You're about. Right. You're right, that's a fact. Some, but but I haven't really seen it from a lot of these these players out here. I be feeling bad. I'm like, yo, she looks cute, but is she really even holding the controller? No, she's not. Her boyfriend probably <laughs> laying on the bed, yeah, right? Look, hiding under the, the sheets, playing for her. <laughs> like her look. controller not even hooked up. You never know. She just sitting there. Have, yo, have y'all seen some of these Twitch players? They sit there and have you seen, have you seen like a stream for one of these Twitch player women? <laughs> she had on no makeup. No makeup. Just sitting here, just like, are you really doing this? And you know she's getting paid for this stuff. Yo, so what? What you play? You you Sony or what Xbox do I person? Play? Yeah. Yo, look. First of all, all I play nowadays is emulators on my phone. I'm gonna say what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, nobody know that is a new. That's Loki the new wave. That's what I've been doing for the past six years. Like you, you definitely came to the house with that emulator. Ever with since cell phone. the punch was it punch out you was playing? Yeah, all that stuff. The fact that like old school games you can play so easily in your phone. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, your phone is nah, portable. Before, you can take it everywhere. When I had an iPhone, I had to jailbreak it first. Yeah, see? And that was better because I you felt users. you felt like a Ooh. sense of accomplishment. You were like, yeah, I just I just got my. It's like you hacked your phone. It's like yeah, I just hacked my phone to play. And then when you update, you didn't really do nothing. You just downloaded the program and pressed the button. I always wondered, really, is it that simple? I always wondered how. You it's know. it's depending on like I'm what you. I'm pretty sure we probably can't discuss the full details. Of the phone, the phone, the oh yeah, good idea. Enough. But but but, but is, is it simple enough? Um yeah, I don't okay. I'm I don't recommend it. Fact, I mean fact fact. You know. Yeah, I'm just saying for people like but, you know. I mean, that's how they cr crash their phones when but, they do But it, it, it's easy depending oh, yeah, on uh, what what program you get. There was like this, there was like this pineapple one. <laughs> there was like this one that had like a pi you, like you open it up and you you press the button. It's like jailbreaking now. Wow, that's and, crazy. and 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 there's like a pineapple that pops up. That's all I remember. <laughs> bunch of that's bunch of right. bunch of different letters and 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 random characters pop up on the screen like like something big is happening with your phone and then it's like jailbreak complete or whatever because people were always like hitting up facebook asking facebook how do you does anyone want to help me jailbreak or offering their jailbreaking services like <laughs> like That's a fact. Trying to make some side hustle. i'll jailbreak your phone phones. for this much and uh i'm like really like i did this so e I mean, I'm not. I'm kind of well, incriminating yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but then with Android, but you have that sense of accomplishment. Then with Android, Android makes it possible, and you know. I mean, they got it in their Play Store. Yeah, so. yeah, it's in the Play. It's literally in there. They have, it in the Play they have Store. like no rules to what can be in there. I haven't been so excited about gaming since we went to the VR place. Yeah, and that was that was a great that was a great moment. I enjoyed that. And, and I we was played scared for my life. The, the robot <laughs> the robot game. The robot shooting game. Yes. Yo, I would I would pay money for that. Yeah, that game was fly. It was dope. I actually did like it. I'm it willing nice. to pay thousands well, the, for the that. VR things are expensive. Yeah, I'm willing. Uh, it's worth like just being able to throw the gun up and catch it 
in the air. <laughs> you were just trying to be mad. <laughs> Like, I, spent, I spent more than half of my time in there doing that. Well, you, you was being fancy. You know John Wick, bro? I was just like, you know John Wick with it? I was like, you I'm can dead. really throw your gun up and catch it. We don't, we, 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 we well, don't what you want to do? We don't know. I don't know. It's epic. Like, it should happen. You should get like the movie guy. The movie sound guy. Yeah. 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 As much of a Drake hater that I am, you are Drake hater. I'm siding with him in yeah, this situation. Okay, okay, okay. Break them okay. All. Let's because I, like I didn't know anything about this beef. I like I didn't know that this has been going on for like five or six years. I didn't know that either. And I read up about it. Apparently, it started because Pusha T was jealous that uh, like Lil Wayne when or Lil somebody Wayne, was was situation. wearing was wearing uh, somebody else's apparel, whatever. I don't know. It was petty stuff. It, it, it does have stem and roots from Push It With Little Wayne. Oh, she got a quickie and, in. And baby. Dang, son. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but then we got a quickie in. <laughs> what were you saying? They're nah, talking. Saying, it, <laughs> before Dre is interrupted for something irrelevant, what were you saying? <laughs> it definitely stemmed back, way back with Cole Cash money situation with, um, you know, with Baby, um, a, uh, I, I can't call it Groom Man Baby. That was weird. You just called him Grown Man Baby? Nah, because I'm saying his name is Birdman, but I don't know why the baby came out. I don't even know. Hmm. That's, that what that's his one? name, though. Isn't that what his name is? That's okay. his nickname. Okay, yeah, that's just, I can't call him Grown Man Baby. That's just weird. Okay, so Birdman, <laughs> Birdman and Mr. Fireman, they were having issues with Pusha T from before. I, I guess it really stems from when um, Lil Wayne was taking over the, the game. You know, he became, started just becoming hot at the time. Um, Kanye was developing good music and all that stuff going on in, in the backgrounds and the scenes, and apparently had a very long stem beat. So I think he kind of inherited Little Wayne's beef. Yeah, Pusha T took shots, but they were light. I know he brought up, you know, he had mentioned again the whole Ghost Rider situation, which, as a Drake fan, I'm gonna put out there. Um, I don't know where I stand on the Ghost Rider thing because I, I do understand that having it. Okay, so if you're in the studio, for anyone that's ever been in the studio, and, you know, if somebody says something that's hot, like, let's say you're laying down a verse, and the verse may not be perfect, and somebody gives you inspiration into the verse, I don't think that it's necessarily bad to tweak your verse if somebody says, you know what, maybe if you said it like this, or maybe if you say this, or they help you out with the chorus or something like that. I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Especially if you're trying to pump out song after song after song. it I don't think inspiration... Because if that's the case, right? Would we say that Biggie had a ghostwriter? Because Diddy definitely helped on some of his songs. I mean, yeah, I, he I, definitely wrote the... Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, Come yeah, he, on. he definitely did the ad-libs he wrote and stuff the, like He that. wrote that. He put it in work for I, that. Even just Biggie's flow, Puffy helped him with that. So I don't know if that constitutes a ghostwriter. Wait. Yeah. You just said yeah. There's certain f certain songs Puffy directly influenced the way that that song came out. The way Biggie might have said a certain word. The way that he may have laid down certain things. Alright, so basically, to long story short, um, it's not a big deal that Drake had a ghostwriter. Is it? You have actually rappers out here who every song they have is theirs. Like, Nick never has to credit anyone but his songs on the album. You get what I'm saying? I agree and I'm seeing people in the studio with Nick saying, this sounds better, that sounds better, you say it this way. But he doesn't have to credit them because they're not writing their songs. But yeah. Drake is a good hit maker, and Drake do make good music, because Drake writes for the people too. Yeah. Can, can, I, can, I, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? If, if, why is it, why is it a big deal for Drake to have a ghostwriter when, like, let's say, music, uh, song singers, like Beyonce, we know that we all know that Neo wrote some of her greatest songs. You know what I'm saying? Why is it? Because, why is it because different? I'm better than you. I'm better than this. I'm better than that. I'ma come at you. As to where rock, you don't really hear rock this song. You don't hear singing this. You don't hear Beyonce for coming at nobody but ho or her. So you can actually make you can actually make that um you can actually do that in singing. And Drake is a singer also, so it's, that's why he probably feel it's appropriate. But like when you talking about the greatest rapper. No, nobody can say they wrote a whole song for Biggie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. No one. Nobody yeah. can say they wrote a whole song for Pop. Maybe Snoop. I'm not really a Snoop fan, but Snoop say he has people writing his songs. But like, when we talking about the Ghost, the greatest, you can't, you can't walk up to Jadakiss like, yo, can I write a song for you? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Y
write a song for you, you don't got no ghostwriter. Mm-hmm. But now when Young Money came on the scene, you got you had Gilly writing for Wayne, you had right. not everybody writing for Wayne. I heard yeah, too yeah, many ghostwriters for, for Wayne. For Wayne yeah. But would you consider Wayne one That's, of the greatest? Uh, uh, I heard Drake was ghostwriting for Weezy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Drake was. A, yeah, he was. Is it? Is it a product of the system that Drake is in now? Like, if he could write, if he could ghostwrite for other people, and he clearly was at one point. If people listen to Drake before he came out, before he became popular, because I used to like Drake before he got hot. You, you, you can hear the difference. There's a clear difference in his sound. Like, I'm gonna call it the pure, yeah, the pure Drake sound. Like that, that his actual voice, his actual rap style, very different. Now, is it? Are you gonna, are you gonna blame him for having the ghostwriter, or where? Like, cause these shots are coming at him because it's like, oh, you're not pure, but at the same time, he has deadlines, you know what I'm saying? He has to actually finish these albums on time. A lot of the people you name, like Jadakiss, Jadakiss is an excellent rapper, you know what I'm saying? He's, I personally right. think he's one of the top five personally, that's my personal opinion, but as far as be beyond being a lyricist, Jadakiss isn't going to make, he's not going to give uh, industry that kind of buzz, that kind of pop that I guess you could say the corporate is looking for. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That Drake has that corporate right. is looking for. So it's like, where do you find the balance? You know what I'm saying? Do you blame Drake because corporate's hitting him up like, yo, we need this album? Or do you you or you go with Jada Kids who might give you a pure album, but only the streets are bumping it. So like, do you think, think that Drake made him relevant again? Because that's what Drake just claimed. Yeah, 